Bancor was named after a famous economic proposal made by Keynes at the end of World War II at the Bretton Woods Conference. He suggested a supranational currency that would help facilitate trade among nations. Keynes believed that using an international reserve currency could help protect smaller or deficit nations from constantly being in debt to stronger currencies. Keynes's proposal actually inspired us to think if there was a way to utilize this concept with smart contracts to achieve the same objective of facilitating the ability for different currencies to trade with each other. Essentially, you can think of the Bancor protocol as a new standard for cryptocurrencies, one that enables any token to hold one or more additional tokens in reserve. Essentially creating relationships between those tokens and allowing conversion between tokens and new kinds of economic models. With Bancor, conversion is done directly with a smart contract. So there's no need to be matched with another party and anyone can always exchange their token to another. It allows currencies that are hardly ever traded to have a market price and liquidity. This is something not possible in today's exchanges. Benko works on smart contract blockchains and supports any standard token. These may represent fiat currencies like dollars and euros, cryptocurrencies like uh, Bitcoin and Ether, tokens that were issued in crowd sales like uh, Augur and Golem, tokens that represent assets like gold. The way that Bancor tokens work is that you can buy them at any time by sending any one of the reserve currencies to the smart contract, which will then automatically issue you the token based on the reserve ratio. When you want to pull money out of the reserve, simply send the token back to the smart contract, thereby destroying that token and pulling out money from the reserve based on the ratio between the token and the reserve. The algorithm calculates the conversion rate between the tokens while preserving a constant ratio between the reserve's value and the Bancor token's market cap. This ensures that reserves are never drained out. Bancor's network token will serve as kind of a connective tissue, linking all of the user-generated tokens to each other. The beauty of Bancor is that the more people use it as their reserve currency, the more value it captures. It essentially encapsulates the network effect of every Bancor compatible token. Just like the internet enabled new types of content models like the blogosphere, we're really excited about enabling the long tail of user-generated currencies. We envision a world with even millions of tokens that are highly effective locally and yet tradable globally. Because the Bancor protocol is a building block for a new type of monetary system on blockchain, we're only beginning to discover the different use cases, from decentralized ETFs to community currencies, uh, a new type of autonomous decentralized exchange. And we're really excited to hear what other ideas the community comes up with. Please check out our white paper and smart contract available on our website at Bancor.network. And follow us on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, Bitcoin Talk, and GitHub.